Okay, we're in the attic. This is the attic over the front bedroom, I guess call it the north bedroom. And um, it's loose fill, rock wool, which is the fiberglass. I'm not seeing any. Um, I'm seeing ridge vents up here. So I'm seeing exhaust vents. I'm not seeing any air vents. Um, this rock wool is about eight or nine inches deep. You see all those little pockets and trails? People did not make those trails. People did not make those trails. There's a mouse trail. Let's see if I can find some mouse dookie. We've got an electric cable that's too close to the entrance right there. Kind of give me a good dose. We do not see depth markers. And this is the clothes dryer vent. And it's got cloth tape on it. Okay, cloth tape is combustible. You get a, a fire in your clothes dryer vent, you've already got a bad day. I get that. But then that cloth tape, spontaneous combustion, it starts burning on the outside of this pipe, and then we've got a we've got an attic fire. We sure do. This vent pipe over here, see that vent pipe? You're supposed to have at least two degrees pitch in the direction of the airflow, in the direction going up, and that just doesn't have it. It's a level right there. This is a truss built system. It's very strong. See all this old gypsum board? It's been replaced. It looks like the firewall has been because we had a water leak right in here. See that? So it looks like the firewall has been replaced. And that's a good thing. They could have taken their trash out. <clears throat> Actually, see how the firewall comes down. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. That's falling down. We've lost some of our some of our firewalls a lot f falling down here. It's a plywood decking, and we've lost some of our firewall from the from the top right there. It separates you from the neighbors. And there it is, all falling down and stuff.